for us all to really enjoy ourselves and you know music is just the most amazing medium for that. The motivation behind Luminate came from tuning into the heartache of the destruction that's happening to our environment and this beautiful planet and just wanting to do something that may help nudge things in a different direction. So we felt that organising a music, arts and cultural festival with a focus on knowledge sharing and environmental sustainability would be a good medium to inspire positive change. The most amazing place, it's just extraordinary. The festival is the way to really add some, some you know, momentum to the change that we desperately re need right now. I really like the sense of community that we have here as well, you know, everyone's been helping each other out. It's a great role model and an example for people to take back into their lives and put back into their communities. There's a real great appreciation of world music and the world fusion stuff, uh, the fusion of electronic music and live music. and. Uh, this festival has really represented that, both with live bands and electronic artists and fusion artists. Um, what I really like about Luminate is how grounded and how relaxed the vibe is here. Uh, you could almost say it's a chill out festival, except for there's lots of dancing. At Luminate we're engaging with different ways of doing things. Easy, low tech solutions that anyone can do that greatly minimize waste, and make the most of the resources that we already have. And the environmental stuff they're doing as far as no plastic, no glass, there's no paper giveaway, there's no garbage cans here, there's no recycling bins, which is really cool. Um, everybody's responsible for their own trash. And I believe, I actually haven't been to a festival that's ever done that. I think that as well as partying and music and getting together and having lots of fun, it's a really good chance for people to learn new skills and alternative ways and practices of living which are not really available in everyday life. You know, we can come and educate people about permaculture, we can educate them about sustainability, we can educate them about um, philosophy and spirituality as it relates to physics, which is what my job is, so that people can say, oh, I see, this is kind of the nature of reality, this is how things work. Maybe we should operate on our daily lives in a way that works in harmony with the world and the universe instead of in a way that's destroying it. The single most important factor, I think, is the number of children and families that come to this festival and the fact that the, uh, the parents uh, can feel totally safe having their children here. The kids just are looked after and catered for so well and it's such a great place to be able to bring them because you know that the kids are safe and, and they're having fun. I really loved Luminate. I would have to say it's my favourite festival ever. Yeah. And the reason for that is um, just the vibe, like the really cool, chilled out, cruisy vibe and I think a really big part of that was the um, lack of alcohol. That really drew me to the festival. There's healing, there's fantastic music, there's some retail, there's work for local people. Um, I particularly like the Zero Waste Initiative, which is something our council is keen to promote. The kitchens are all doing um, composting and, you know, there's no, uh, it's all reusable cutlery, all reusable plates and cups and bowls. So I have barely seen a plastic bottle or a can anywhere on site. We only buy organic food for the cafes that we run because that's what we believe in and we really want to support methods of food production that are beneficial to the ecosystem. I'm passionate about growing food organically. Nature needs to be given space to be abundant. We can support this by creating food forests that um, supply both our needs and the needs of the other creatures that we share this beautiful planet with.
Turkey because this is pretty much paradise as far as I can tell. I mean, I've been to a lot of festivals, you know, I've probably been to hundreds of festivals at this point, and I've never seen one that is as eco as this festival. This this one takes the cake and gets the, it gets the grand prize as far as uh, the least amount of impact on the land, um, all the way down to the toilets. They're wonderful actually. I've been, I've been in a lot of festival toilets and they're, they're definitely the best. Looking after the basics is really important as it gives a strong foundation to build things on. And one of those basics is composting our toilet matter and returning nutrients back to where they belong. Um, Luminate is showing how this can be done in a safe and simple way. They can come into this magical space up in the bush on top of Tarkic Hill and um, you wouldn't even know they'd been there, but yet so many amazing, magical things have happened in that time. So I think it's the way of the future. We've come to realise that we're all co-creating this together, and it's up to us to take responsibility for the choices we're making, and to align those choices with options that look after the planet, and to harmonise our lifestyles accordingly.